is my third update. I'm going into my third week of my weight loss journey. And I wanted to let you guys know what was going on with me this week. So, I did lose weight. So, I'll be inserting my weight in this clip somewhere. I'll also be inserting my measurements, um, which I haven't taken. So, I don't know what those are. I feel like they'll be pretty close to what they were last week, if not exactly the same. Um, because my weight loss actually wasn't as high as I planned for. I expected to lose four and a half pounds and I didn't hit that number, but I'm still pretty glad with the progress that I'm making. I wanted to make sure that I got this video in today, so please excuse the hat and just the whole total lack of being prepared, but this is now a part of my journey. Logging, um what I'm doing, which I have a journal now, and I'll show you that as well. But logging what I'm doing on paper and recording for you guys is now a part of my journey. So I will not miss a Sunday. Um, I will not miss a day to log my workouts because I'm going to be kicking those up. But like I said, you guys are now a part of uh, baked in part of my journey and if I don't do these videos I feel like I missed something that was important to me and possibly important to someone else uh, with that being said I was able to find some motivation this week in something that I had done a long time ago which was make a list of rewards for myself I made this I talked about that in my last video so I'm not going to really go into it too much but I made a list of rewards for myself I lost the list I actually bought myself something that was an item on that list um, and it coincided with my weight loss so once I got under 200 pounds I wanted to buy myself an item and I bought myself that item and now I'm continuing on uh, my reward system and maybe I'll make a separate video sometime this week to kind of just break down what those rewards are what the goals are and throw a couple other things in that video I'm not sure there are actually um, a couple of people that have inspired me this week to keep me going and um, I can't exactly pinpoint who at the moment but just know that a lot of you guys that I follow and if I comment on your pages you guys are really inspiring to me so I keep up with you guys and I'm also proud of the progress that you guys are making as well I did some squats this week so those felt good I this is my favorite I almost forgot to tell you guys this so I was a seven and a half oh another thing I'm 5'2", if that puts things into perspective. I forgot to tell you guys what my height was in the last two or three videos. But yes, I'm 5'2", and currently 194 and some change. So that may kind of put into perspective the amount of weight I should be losing overall. But I wanted to let you guys know about my shoe size. So I have five children, and my feet have grown since a teenager. Uh, when I graduated high school, I wore a size seven and a half shoe. I was pregnant at the time, so I was like in like an eight, eight and a half because my feet were so wide. But I went back down to a seven and a half shoe. After having four more kids, I was a size nine and a half shoe. I have been wearing a size nine and a half shoe since my daughter was born. My daughter is now two, and this is what happened this week guys like oh my god i'm so excited so i decided let me go and try on a couple pair of shoes because i need new shoes for work every nine and a half i tried on did not fit every nine i tried on did not fit i am in a size eight and a half shoes is that weird like, I don't, I don't know. Is that common? I don't know. But, like, my feet are literally shrinking. I think that's probably one of the most exciting things. I have shoes in my closet that I've held on to for years or that I've been gifted. And people assume that I was still a size, you know, seven and a half or eight shoe. And they will buy me those sizes. I've never gotten rid of the shoes. But I kind of went shopping in my closet last night with my husband. And he was like, wow. Like these like you can fit these shoes I 
I was so excited. So that's a weird thing about weight loss that may be true for everybody, may not be true, but I know it's true for me. And the reason that my feet expanded over time as much as they did is because of having children or so I assumed, but it could have just been because I've gained so much weight. And even though I've only lost um, like a little bit over 10 pounds throughout this journey, and 20 pounds overall since being my heaviest weight of 215 pounds, um, it apparently was enough to kind of take some of that weight out of my feet. So I'm really excited about that. Um, what's another thing I'm excited about this week? Because I'm trying to keep on the positive because I didn't hit that weight loss goal, but then I had to remind myself also that that was just a number that I threw out there randomly. And if you watch my last, uh, my journey week loss, my weight loss journey number two video you'll see it literally was just a random number out of nowhere that I threw out there it was four and a half pounds I wanted to lose and you know what if I didn't hit it so what I'm still losing weight so with that being said the past is in the past we're moving forward towards next week so what are my goals for this third week I'm going into I would say that my goal is to I'm still gonna set my goal I guess pretty high um, I want to lose four pounds so my goal from today to next Saturday is to lose four pounds um, but last year I just threw out a numbers goal I think this th last year <laughs> but last week I just threw out a numbers goal this week I want to actually throw out some other goals as well I want to throw out the goal of making sure I do the stairs every day this week at work um, because my steps were kind of sporadic this my workouts actually were pretty sporadic. They were Inconsistent um, they were kind of whenever I wanted to try something or do something I dropped down and did a workout or I walked the stairs But I want to be consistent this week. So I'll see if the consistency helps out my results I'll do the stairs every day. I'll do squats every day and then I would like to incorporate some sort of an ab workout and something with weights. So that is what I want to do every day this week. And in my update next week, I'll let you know what I decided to do every day this week. And hopefully I can hit that four pound goal. And even if I don't hit that four pound goal, as long as I hit everything that I wanted to do every day, I, believe me, I'll be thrilled because that's on the fitness side. Um, and not just the weight loss side. Um, other than that, I don't think there's much uh, that I need to tell you guys. I guess I just want to leave you all with this. That tomorrow's not going to come. <laughs> and by that I mean tomorrow, if you're thinking about starting a weight loss journey and, and you haven't already started, tomorrow is not the day to start. Right now... I, I'm I'm not even joking right now please right now if that means that you have to cut your portions because you cannot make it to the store to go and do a whole shopping haul to start your diet just cut your portions if that means that you have to incorporate some at-home workouts because you can't get the gym membership yet incorporate some at-home workouts this is kind of a repeat of what I said and my video that I uploaded yesterday but this is so important please do not wait we are all in this together we're all gonna go through some trials we're all gonna go through some tests but do not wait today is the day I love you guys thanks for watching I will see you uh, next Sunday for sure but I may also see you in the middle of the week with some updates on what I'm doing Thank you guys again. Thank you for inspiring me. Hopefully one day I will be able to inspire someone else. And I will see you.